All right, good morning, welcome. I'm Steve Fessler with Sioux Falls Fire Rescue. Uh, here to speak to you a little bit today about February being Heart Month. Uh, one of the leading causes of death in the United States per year is heart disease. Uh, roughly 695,000 people die each year in the United States because of this, and around 1,700 in South Dakota alone. And with uh, February being Heart Month, uh, what better day to talk about the heart than on Valentine's Day? It serves a time for awareness, for public education, and to promote heart-healthy habits across the board for all of us. Of course, it's essential for each of us to take care of our own hearts. And it's a mission-critical thing for all of us to think about. But we can also take steps to help and be more prepared as a community. In the event of a cardiac arrest, two things are essential to improve survival rate. One is CPR, and two is the use of an AED. When we are prepared, we become a stronger, more resilient community. Knowing CPR and how to access an AED can mean the difference between life and death. One of the easiest ways here locally to know when there's a cardiac arrest happening in the nearby vicinity of where you're at is a free mobile app called PulsePoint. This app features to help you save life in a cardiac event by connecting CPR trained individuals with where the location of the cardiac emergency is happening, locating nearby AEDs, and also providing CPR instruction. We all, we all have the availability of this app through your app store on iOS and Android devices. Uh, the PulsePoint app is a great uh, thing locally to be a community, a community that is resilient and able to respond to these types of events. Next, I have Shelly Novak with Patient Care EMS. Good morning. My name is Shelly Novak. I am the clinical director with patient care EMS here in Sioux Falls. I've been a paramedic for about 20 years here in the city. Um, patient care EMS has been the, the provider for emergency services here in Sioux Falls since 2015. Um, with February being Heart Health Month, um, there's a lot of things you can do to keep yourself uh, healthy, keep your heart healthy, but there's a lot you can do for your neighbor. Um, early CPR and defibrillation with an AED, which is an automated external defibrillator, um, can save lives. You are two to, three, two to three times more likely to survive if bystander CPR and defibrillation is performed. The Pulse Point app uh, is a good way to connect you to these emergencies. 911 can only get there so fast. If you are in the vicinity, and even if it's only two minutes before we get there, that is a huge difference in the patient's life and the life of their family. The free mobile app um, is really easy to sign up for. It has a number of things that will alert you to, but a cardiac arrest or the stopping of someone's heart is the big one that we're focusing on today. It will help you find nearby AEDs. Um, it'll give you some instruction on what to do, and all we need you to do is, is do the, the things that you're able to do, that you're trained to do, until we arrive. Sioux Falls Fire Rescue certifies, not just certifies, they train over 5,000 people a year here in Sioux Falls for this. With that being said, if everybody who was able to could respond, I think our survivability rates would be much higher. We're already one of the highest in the nations, but um, this would help everybody come together as a community. We really do need you out there helping us and helping your neighbor. When we work together, we become a more resilient community, and I thank you for your time. With that, we'll take any questions if anybody has any. Um, with the app, 
just explain to me how that works in terms of so if I um, am with somebody and they have a a heart incident, I pull up the app and other people and I push something and people around me will know that I need help or how does that work? The way this app works is um, it's connected in with the dispatch center here locally. So as when uh, a 911 call comes into the dispatch center and the call goes out for patient care EMS, Sioux Falls Fire Rescue, and Sioux Falls PD, uh, it pushes out to a, a geograph geographic location around that vicinity of where wherever that call comes in. So anybody within that uh, a small ring of area will get a push notification on their phone. And then they will know that there's a cardiac arrest currently happening within a certain distance of them. It'll show where the AEDs are located at that are nearby. So someone can grab an AED. Someone else can be coming right up to where this individual is having this heart attack and start CPR and start the whole process right then and there. How many, do you know how many people in this area have it? How long has it been available and how many people use it? We've had this, oh boy, um, the Pulse Point app. I'm trying to remember exactly how many years. It's probably going on close to 10 years that we've had the app itself. The total number of users, I do not have that number right in front of me right offhand, but I know it's a couple thousand probably, pretty close to, of users. And it is kind of the whole surrounding area. We've got, it's not only Sioux Falls, but a lot of the surrounding uh, communities also have the app accessible for their individuals. So Brandon, Hartford, uh, E, Harrisburg, Renner, all those types, they have that same app available. So you don't have to live in Sioux Falls to have the Pulse Point app and be able to uh, be available for the CPR. They're like uh, recommended uh, techniques or tactics for your phone. I just imagine like, oh, that guy's having a heart attack. I think I have. Well, somewhere <laughs> on the app itself, it, it is set up so, like I said, it does a push notification to you. So it'll come up as a no notification on your phone that there's a cardiac arrest currently happening. So it's there to just notify you, and then you, as a first responder, can respond. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it is. It's a it is a an awesome app to have, and it. it Helped out a lot of people across the country. Do you know how many often it's been used around here in the region? How often it yeah? It how has, often does it get used? Um, basically, anytime there's a, a cardiac event in the in a public area, so you know, not ne not in homes, but out in the public area, it sends out these notifications. So it can go to a number of different people. Uh, the total numbers, I don't know. Uh, exact numbers for you, but uh, it for every car cardiac arrest in the public area, it, it'll probably push one or two notifications. So just to so I understand this. Yep. Somebody makes a they're at the mall. Yep. Right. Somebody makes a call to nine one one and says there's a heart attack. Yep. Dispatch automatically says, oh, this is a cardiac event. It activates the app to anybody in that area. Yep, anybody that is carrying the Pulse Point app and has the notifications set up for CPR in that area, it, it sends out those notifications. It's not so much me saying, if I see somebody having a heart attack, I should call 911. Yeah, you call 911, call 911 direct. Yep. Got it. Perfect. Any other questions? Just... How should people get uh, CPR certified, or who do they need to contact if they want to get involved with that? Uh, one of the easiest ways is they can uh, go to the SiouxFalls.gov's website under Fire Rescue. Um, our community services section has CPR and AED education, and it's also got the information on the Pulse Point app where you can learn more about it and how to download it. So, yeah, SiouxFalls.gov uh, in the fire. Fire rescue area with community service. Yeah. 
for this, but you know, obviously there are some people in the community that know they're having or that know they have cardiac history or, or you know, potential risk for heart health issues. Um, how often is it, though, that you see people who are having a cardiac event that never would have anticipated this in their day? And how important is it someone is nearby that has this critical life-saving skill to maybe be that gap between an ambulance arrival? I'll let Shelly speak to that one. It, it happens quite a lot, actually. Um, and I've noticed over the last year, a lot of the younger people are being affected by this, people with no medical history. Um, like I said, the early CPR and defibrillation, I've seen it save lives. I, I have one example, um, 60-year-old male, which I still consider that young, um, was at a manufacturing plant. He was talking to somebody. A minute later, they turned around. He had collapsed. All those people were CPR trained with their AED. Didn't, didn't necessarily use the Pulse Point app. But they were a ways out of town. It took probably 10 minutes for anybody to get to them. We flew him back in. We got his pulses back. And I was actually the same ambulance that picked him up from one hospital to transport him to another one two days later. He got out of bed and walked to my cot that day. And those are, are really great stories. And it, it wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for that. Um, a lot with the, the heavy snow, we've had quite a few heart attacks, um, which if they're not caught right away, will eventually lead into a cardiac arrest. Um, so a lot of these people had no medical history until they did. All right, well, thank you very much. Thank you for your time today.